This video will show you how to convert a print template for use in Darkroom Booth. Uh, first thing you want to make sure you're is, is that you're on an event, you're in Settings, Main, and for what template, I'm going to click Choose, and I'm going to create a new template here. And in this case, I'm converting a border that was a 4x6 vertical. Even though it's photo strips, it was set as a 4x6, and um, a lot of the other competing programs uh, work that way. So basically, I have a blank template here. The first thing I'm going to do is add the background. That's part of a lot of existing borders out there. So I just go and I grab background, hit open, hit OK, and you can see there's the background. One thing to notice is that the text on this uh, template is part of the background, and that's fine. And if you're doing really fancy effects, that may be the way you have to go. Um, but for ease of use, what I would recommend is, um, if possible, to convert this to text in Darkroom and then it makes it real easy to come in and edit next time all you have to do is open this border double click change the name hit OK and you're done so you don't need Photoshop you don't need elements you don't have to worry um, about having those programs but in this case we'll just leave it as is so I've got my background the next thing to do is to put my photos on top um, I could add these one at a time and hit OK and do adjustment or I could use coordinates but um, I'm gonna try to make it a little easier and do all four at once. Um, so I just click on the add photos and I'm going to take off the spacing hit OK and you can see I've got four photos there but they're too big so I'm just going to use my mouse um, to adjust these where I want them and just click a few times so pretty straightforward and if you want there are also keyboard um, controls you can use. You can use your arrow keys um, to move it up and down you can also hold down the shift key to move it uh, pixels at a time um, or the control key to move uh, I think it's 10 pixels at a time and then if you want to you can also zoom in to try to get a better feel for exactly what you're doing on a pixel level basis um, so once I've got my images about where they should be um, I need to do it again over here and the easy way to do that is just to right click on this and choose duplicate and then just drag it over um, and if I'm worried about the alignment I can highlight both of those I did a control click and I can go under the align menu and set them to where they're both aligned um, another thing that's part of a lot of existing borders from other software is they just have a simple overlay on top so I can just click my add artwork button again I'm gonna go and grab my overlay and hit OK and there's my overlay and now all I need to do is hit save and we're all done I'd like to give a word of thanks to Mike Bender with photoboothowners.com for providing the sample template thanks